Welcome back to another Primal Pursuit mission everyone. In this episode, we're hunting kingfish and trolling for marlin off the beautiful Coromandel Peninsula on the east coast of New Zealand. Beautiful weather conditions. I've got my new Christmas present, a new spare gun. I'm on board with a couple of good mates and with excellent weather forecasted ahead for the day, we're in for a treat. We don't muck around, pulling into a Rock no one to hold a few fish and get straight into the action. We've hit mid incoming tide, usually the best time for a lot of fishy action, and there's big schools of bait fish on the surface. We close the gap and I peel into the water. The surface from the boat looking across the water was just alive, it was amazing. We knew underwater would be the same. And there are thousands and thousands of fully mature kahawai. A beautiful eating fish nonetheless, but we were here to hunt some kingfish. This car away, but it's amazing. Now while hunting kingfish, I'm just waiting for the right moment to duck dive. There's no point diving up and down relentlessly. I'm waiting for a bit more erratic movement from the fish, which means a predator is nearby. And suddenly I get my chance. Like clockwork, the fish speed up, they're getting more erratic. Koheru down below racing, I know there's a kingfish nearby, it's chasing the fish. And soon enough, here it shows itself, and I go in for the kill. I get an awesome shot right through the head, and the fish is not happy, taking off down into the depths. Fish on! Its mates joining it here, there's about four or five kingfish below. The fish takes off, I'm trying to keep it away from the island, the reef. Keep it off the bottom where it can reef me. It's a strong fish, they always are kingfish, unless you spine them or hurt them badly, they are very, very powerful. I'm not losing any line, not gaining any line, so it's a matter of tiring this fish out. This place is insane, there's bait fish everywhere, it's crazy. The fish was very hurt and it wasn't long however until I got it to the surface. I just about have it in my arms and the shaft unfortunately just shakes through the gills and the fish gets off. I almost grab it with my arms but it gets away, it's devastating, I hate to lose fish like this, I don't like injuring animals but it is part of the sport unfortunately. Hopefully a shark gets a good free feed nearby. The incoming tide was pushing the current really hard. It was hard work keeping up with the schools of baitfish, so luckily we had a boatman and were able to be dropped again around the other side of the schools of fish and drift through them. Once again, hoping to encounter a yellowtail kingfish. Once again we were just greeted by incredible scenes, it's one of those spots which just absolutely fires in summer. Thousands of bait fish, kahawai, koheru, little jack max anything, there was so much fish, so much food for large predatory fish such as yellowtail kingfish. I knew it wouldn't be long before we saw some more. Sinking down here.
It started to get a bit murky towards around 10 meters. Back at the surface, I'm just waiting for my chance. I know another fish will show up soon, and sure enough. I get a glimpse out of the corner of my eye, and a nice kingfish comes cruising through. There it is, a nice kingy. I dive straight away, you have to. Diving down, I'm swimming slightly away from the fish, don't chase them. Always swim slightly away, they're very inquisitive and they'll come in for a look. Here it is, comes just in range enough for me to get a shot off. Safety's on. <laughs> Bugger. All good, fish comes back around and I shoot it top down right through the head. Hopefully this shot holds. I kick for the surface. I've got the drag on the reel set right, it's just peeling out enough line enabling me to get to the surface, get a breathe up, get some recovery breaths in and get ready for another fight. Shot looks secure but that's what I said on the last fish to myself so I didn't take any chances. I didn't put too much pressure on this fish but just enough to swim it away from the rock and the reef. The fish is charging and it's diving straight towards the reef. I'm really not 100% sure in that shot though, so I'm just being really careful. I don't want a second fish to rip off. Once I can get a visual on the fish and see that shaft gone right the way through some thick flesh, I'll be a bit more confident and I can put some more pressure on. But until I can get that visual, it's just a small game of cat and mouse. Gain some line, lose some line, without putting too much pressure on the fish. Even with all my years of spearfishing experience, things can go easily wrong and here's an example of bad line management. The kingfish takes a run and unfortunately the real line was tucked over my mask, rips my mask off down into my chest. It's quite stressful when you can't see anything underwater. Losing my mask and GoPro would be the least of my worries. What you don't want is to get caught up around your arm and your leg and get dragged underwater. That's why I always carry a knife and everyone should, 100%. I actually carry two, I've got one on my weight belt as well. I managed to get untangled, get my mask back on and I've got my head back underwater fighting the kingfish. The fight's still under control but I'm still not quite sure of that shot placement until I get a bit closer here and I can see the flopper shimmering in the light. It's out the other side of the fish but it doesn't look like I've got a big body of meat to hold on to. So again, just taking this fight slowly, inch by inch, pulling this fish up to the surface. The only problem here is you may encounter a hungry bronze whaler shark which can feel the stress and vibrations from the kingfish. It's one of the hardest fights I've had with the kingfish in years. It just went on and on and on. I've actually cut this video up. It was a very strong fish. And only once I got it closer to the surface, I realized it was very girthy. It was actually a, quite a nice sized kingfish. Slowly but surely, I was making ground on this fish and I was only a few meters away from getting it into my arms. Still, it was only hanging on by a small piece of meat, so I'm just taking it slowly and steadily. My fears come true, but I've got the fish close enough. A big bronze whaler shows itself. Very interested in my catch. Rodney, I need help, shark! I've got used to sharks over the years, and you can read their behaviour. You can see how placid this shark is. Rodney, give me a shark! It's just cruising around. The pectoral fins just flat as normal. If the fins are poked down and they're a bit more erratic racing around you should be a bit more worried but this fish, this shark, is just cruising, it's just chilling, seeing what all the commotion was. Perhaps it was full, eating the fish that got off before. 
<laughs> Not sure. Anyways, I'm glad it didn't get too sketchy. <laughs> Knife to the brain. The fish is dead, it's secure, and I hesitate. I'm about to bleed the fish as usual and rip the guts out, but I'll let the guys do that off the back of the boat. <laughs> Probably not the smartest thing when there's a big bronze whaler shark cruising around. Get out those tits. This fish ending up weighing 20 kilograms, so the fight was understandable. The strong queen. It's got the hardest fight I've ever had. Only small. I'll gun it after, yeah, because this big bronzy's hanging around. I'll try and bag one more. Yep. Yeah, you got it. Our plan was to get a few kingfish and bring them straight to the smokehouse, so one more would be great. Jumping back in, once again, huge schools of kahawai. Absolute scenes. Sparrow's dream. I'm sure it wouldn't take long before I could find another one. There are acres and acres of bait fish. Kahawai, Koheru, the old Trevally in the mix. Amazing scenes. When you see the Koheru light up with yellow on the side, you know there's a predator nearby. Those kingfish are close. Sure enough, I see one out to the right here, just cruising past. Not so inquisitive this fish, and it swims off into the distance. We move away from the schools of fish deeper and head into the shallows. There's hundreds of kahawai just milling around here on this bommy reef. I'm just observing the kahawai. I'm not even looking for kingfish at this point, I'm just enjoying the dive. And then a beautiful fish just comes cruising in with his mate. It's a great opportunity, one not to miss, so I line the fish up just behind the gill plate there and smack the shaft right through the fish. This time I'm confident, shaft's gone right through, secure shot, and I need to work this fish to the surface. Once again, the kingfish always try to swim to the reef to get into the kelp. They try to break off whatever's stopping them from getting away. So I'm keeping the pressure on. This time I know I've got a very, very solid holding shot so I can put very firm pressure. This one doesn't take as long and I just wrench the fish up to the surface. I'm not letting this get away and I know that shark could still be nearby so I have to act quicker with this kingfish. I do have my mate nearby for a second shot but I do like to fight the fish solo if I can. Man versus fish. 
You can see the colour separation where the shaft is entered in the fish, the darker head and lighter body. It means I've nicked the spine, which takes the fight out of the fish and means a much easier battle. A few minutes later, I've got the fish to the surface, no shark is showing, and the second king on board. Stoked. The schools were so thick you almost got dizzy sometimes. Blondie missing a big kingfish swimming straight underneath him here. Quite a nice fish. Anyways, two fish was enough for us. So we just spent the rest of the morning here diving in these incredible scenes. Such an experience diving in big vortexes of bait fish. You forget everything that's going on in the world and you just chill out, zone out. Immersed in nature, it's an incredible experience. As we reached the high tide mark, the current stopped, the fish moved deeper, and it was time to move on. So we headed wide in search of a marlin. No luck on the marlin, but plenty of skipjack tuna around. Great eating fish if you care for them properly, bleed them and get them on ice. Excellent eating. No marlin on the bite, no signs of anything on the surface, so no jumping in today, but plenty of skipjack tuna, plenty of fish for the boys. A lot of people use skipjacks, otherwise known as bonito, a few other names, as fishing bait, but they're awesome eating. As with anything, if cared for properly, cooked right, it's all good. After getting back in that afternoon, we dropped the fish off to the one and only Blink Smokehouse. Bruce is an absolute legend and the best smokehouse I've been to. He does an incredible job. We asked him how good the tuna would turn out and he was confident so. In they went with the kingfish. If you're ever in Fitianga, New Zealand, and you've got some fish, Go to Bruce's Smokehouse, he does a perfectionist job on fish. Look at the setup here, very professional, very tasty. Here's someone else's king, he's getting smoked. Some big snapper fillets above. Here you can see the quality of the smoke. Moist, tasty, golden, just stunning. Bruce even gave us a nice pack horse lobster to take away. What a good lad. And here's the finished product. Two days later, all vacuum sealed. And look at the tuna. We couldn't believe how well it turned out. Beautiful. As we came to pick up the fish, Bruce was smoking a big blue marlin, the real deal. So we had to try the tuna out, and wow, we were amazed. It was better than the kingfish, better than a lot of smoked fish I've ever had. So guys, don't throw those skipjack tuna away. Make sure they're bled on ice, Give them a go, smoked. Absolutely stunning. Well, guys, cheers for watching that episode if you've made it to the end. Hope you enjoyed it. Bit of kingy action, very fishy. Awesome day out once again on the water. Another Primal Pursuit mission, success. Cheers for tuning in. Feel free to whack a thumbs up if you like that. Subscribe if you want to see more action. And if you want to support my channel, 
primalpursuit.co.nz, link in the description to grab some of my merch. Cheers guys, see you out there on the next episode.